Hello there. Do you, like me, hate washing your car? Oh, I certainly do. Um, but one of the things that can help you wash your car is when you get these sort of, uh, you know, semi-automatic uh, brushes. I mean, this isn't doesn't attach to your hose. It kind of goes in your bucket. Well, the other end of it goes in the bucket, and you have uh, fresh soapy water always coming out at the end as you, as you kind of pump the handle. But this end is getting a bit mm, not very nice. I'll show you a decent picture, hopefully, right now from a photograph I've taken and yeah i need to fix that in a number of ways so uh, the first thing is you know where it's basically it's become kind of bent over and in fact i've started to to kind of try and heal it already and what i've done is literally i've just got a, a, a pen that fits in there quite tightly there, there could be a bit more um tightness going on but that that'll do you know short of you know i don't know 3d printing something that's precise size or whatever and, and then just getting you know a hairdryer By the way, what's the difference between a hairdryer and a hot air gun not much that feels quite warm yeah so I'm just going to leave that like that, just to sort of straighten out a bit. But that's only half the solution because, you know, it's going to carry on being bent like that unless we do some sort of strain relief. So I thought what we might do is if I cleverly switch here like that, you yeah, know, good old Fusion 360. Well, it's going to be, you know, it's some sort of cylinder, isn't it, to start with. So I haven't measured anything yet. Um, just because, well, you don't really need to. Uh, to just get the ideas going. Um, so let's just extrude that. So this is the sort of look I'm imagining. Uh, and in fact, I said about 10 centimeters, so I might as well make that 100 mil, which is the same thing. Um, obviously that's going to be a bit thick probably but uh, you know I'll, I'll measure that in a minute and get that right um, and then it's thinking about how to make this kind of semi flexible so what I'm thinking is perhaps to just cut holes in it and try and think about what 3d printing is good at and what it might be happy with and uh, what not so happy so let's give that a try Extrude. No, we want a hole. And we'll do it symmetrical. Symmetric. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Is it is it good? Is it bad? Is it different? I don't know. Is that going to be any good? I don't know. Let's, let's print it out. I'll be interested to see how flexible it is. I'm not printing it in a flexible. Maybe I should. Maybe it's time to experiment with flexibles. Oh no, I have a Bowden extruder. Maybe you can't. Well, well, we'll have a look. Okay, enough of this nonsense. I'm going to stop recording this and start printing. So, yeah, um, <coughs> this is how it came out. Now, uh, you might have thought it my deliberate mistake. Hmm, not so deliberate, but perhaps a bit of stupidity uh, forgetting that you can't bridge round curves so you've got all this sort of stringing inside but actually I don't think that's a huge problem I mean we can you know get through there you know no problem at all and actually yeah there is a little bit of flex it's sort of kind of not disastrous this is only PLA we'll see how it goes um, dimensions yeah not far off sort of clear it but I think what I'll do is I'll ram that uh, sharpie pen down there and, and sort of give it a bit of space because it will go in there you can see that um, obviously my heating up you can still see there's a bend there but it's not quite as crushed and horrible I mean, it literally was sort of like that um, so yeah I think we're going to be all right oh hello there yeah so um usual fettling tool if you want one of these 
can't buy them anymore. I think it's the old style Huntsman or something like that. But um, I'll give you a link down the bottom to you know, the, the nearest you can have. And actually, I don't think the magnifying glass is the most important thing. So anyway, um, <clears throat> if you fancy buying one, major fettling tool i use this all the time and yeah i did i shoved the sharpie down the end and you can sort of see it's a bit clearer than it was and then a bit of that and i managed to get the whole hose through and um, partly by folding it see what i did is i crease it like that and then it sort of go through that's it so there it is get that on the end Oh, it occurred to me that I, we could easily 3D print this, this actual mechanism. So, um, if you'd like me to design that, then let me know and I'll show you how it could be made. I'm just going to whack that on the end. And that, that's sort of it. It obviously can still bend here. There's no perfect solution. But I think that, that will certainly extend its life. And um, yeah, I'll have to clean the car again, won't I?